regardless, our plans haven't changed. We'll sneak into Yamato Shrine again and follow the Urashima's woman's trail. We've got the ore now, so we don't- we should check out Rugu Island. The only snag, then, is how to get inside. Hopefully the guard today is the same one as the two days ago. Oh, right, the idol otaku. True, it'll help us immensely if he's the one watching the entrance. You're talking about Yama- Yamagami, Ria? He's not a guard today. Maru- Maru- Maruhashi, how do you know him? He's in the Momo Kurusei fan club. So, he's a friend. No, never- there's no way. Yamagami only talks about Momo's boobs. He goes on and on about how it's wonderful they aren't padded. It's like he's insulting her. Momo's charm comes from her beautiful legs and finely shaped- Be quiet, I couldn't care less about your terrible taste. Whoops, sorry I got too hot. I contacted Yamagami when I was gathering info on the shrine, but seems he's missing or something. He disappeared two nights ago while he was on patrol in the park. No one knows what happened, so it doesn't look like anyone called the cops yet. Two nights ago. Kay, did you kill him? No, I didn't kill him. He went missing after Amanome and I escaped. What happened to the guard after we left? Two nights ago, there was another person at the shrine besides us. If he was patrolling around the lake, then they might have encountered each other. No. Can't be. Why don't we head over to the shrine? Let's see how everything stands first, then we can think of a way in. Maybe we'll be here for a pleasant surprise and might be less guarded than we expected. The guard up and vanished. I'd like to think even more tightly guarded. I think it, I think it'd be even more tightly guarded. There was a lot there yesterday, but I do agree that we should still go. If we take too long on this, and you'll die. Forcing our way in might end up being an option. If you're going out, uh, shall I go with? Stay here, Maruhashi. You stand out even worse than Hazuki. Use the laptop and find out what you can about the pregnant woman incident. If you uncover anything new, let us know. You certainly guarding the bar to me. I won't ask what you guys are planning, but be careful. Marahashi is an obedient underling like a dog. Amanome's really brought him to heal. The three of us leave Black Rabbit, taking our usual path toward the shrine. We arrive at the back shrine again. Midnight. We're headed to Rugu Island, right? You're almost out of time, so we have to row out there tonight, no matter what. I hid the oars two nights ago. We can pick them up and head to the boat dock. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Amanome? What's wrong? Nothing. Just thinking about something. Huh? The lights are off on the security station. I don't sense any movement. I think no one's there. Uh huh? It's Seriously? Oh, how, how lucky is that? I'll go check just in case. She dashes over to the security station. What are the chances no one's here? Maybe Karma's finally working for us. <laughs> Isn't it strange how things work out? I'm gonna know my phone ring. Hello? Yeah, that's perfect, just for the night. They'll just have to deal with it. Sort it out with their higher-ups, too. They start, they start bitching so in that photo. Oh, and don't tell Maruhashi. He's an idiot. Wait, well, sorry for that. Sounds like the Simoid back to the house got sick. They were asking where the medicine was. Simoid. Bullshit. Sounds like I'm gonna pull some strings to create a situation we're in now. I'm back. What's up? You're making a strange face. It's all very strange. The window was broken and the lock pried open. The whole place was a mess. It felt like a break-in and the inhabitants were kidnapped. The drunk ones were flown into a rage from the door open. The guy fell and into himself with the guard. He was fully escorted into the hospital. I could sit in here, but it's probably something like that. Well, whatever. One way or another, now's our chance. We put our butts inside ASAP. Hell, what? Why don't we just all go in? No, someone needs to stay at a new lookout. Someone needs to come by and those guards are missing. Besides, these people are probably too much for the boat, so it's unreliable. True. If you also the cabin down, we should decide to stay behind the boat. About that. I think you better advise stay behind the boat. Huh? Why? Well, uh, how should I do this? I about that. How can I stay? Uh, whatever, let's just try to do this. I'm gonna write this. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm gonna wait until we can keep an eye out here. 
Okay. Got it. I'm sure I'm better as a backup. All right, let's go. I've always needed to place them in the boat before we do anything. I set up the boat oars. Alright, let's go. Yeah! I climb aboard with Hazuki. I see something. Hey, did you hear something just now? Mm -hmm, not really. Am I imagining things then? There's this metal pipe sticking out from the lake. I wonder why it's there. We will save much. We will save often. A black shadow slips by in the water. Was that a koi fish? That was kind of too big for one. I try to check how deep it is, but it's too murky and dark to really tell. The shrine gate is set up to look like it's floating on the lake. Maybe the proper way to pass it is to steer the boat through it before going to the island. <laughs> I tie the boat to the pier and step onto the island. Take a look around. That, not that it's necessary. This place is so small I can see everything without turning. Ah. There's no way to describe the sound of the sigh she just made. Ah. Just like it's... Just look at this eerie atmosphere. This building reminds me of the Chinese-style shrine. Doesn't this just get you excited? It does, it does, doesn't it, right? You're staring at the sanctum. What is it? This is it. This is the place I saw in my vision. What? The suitcase of the pregnant woman inside was thrown away here. Uh, is that so? But, but, but the police found the suitcase, right? Though they said it was empty. Yeah. If, when the pregnant woman died, she turned into the Hiroshima woman, then there might be some kind of- Oh, I don't know if she's talking that to me. Then this place might have some clue of it. Feels old. It could have been a spooky history. I'd love to take this home for my yard. Bitch. Not bad. <sighs> what 
what's wrong? Oh no, it's just... The door is soaked. It surprised me is all. I, if it's wet, then is the Hiroshima woman there? Maybe. Th then want to go in? We can't. As expected, it's locked. I see. Ghosts could phase right through it, but lowly humans have physical bodies. I could maybe break something like this down. I'd take some time, but their wooden door is easy enough to destroy. Could also break it by knocking down another area. That's probably not a good idea. I should avoid making loud sounds. It's midnight, there's a chance the neighbors call the cops. Yeah, neighbors, sure. You're right, something might hear the sound and call the cops. Well, that too, but the gods might punish you for dis desecrating it. Oh, you meant it like that. Whatever, let's just look for the key. The security guard usually has the keys to the buildings, but... There's that baby's cry again. I quickly glance around this mine, but I'm not surprised to not see a baby anywhere. Th this is definitely a supernatural phenomenon. We have to find what's causing it. Wait, you're serious? Very serious. It's a baby. It'd be a horrible travesty if we ignore the little thing. I, I am curious, I guess. The crying abruptly stops. Tear boss into the island, there's a new growth. Hey, you're back. No, I don't. Unless there's something on the ground that I miss. I hear a baby crying. The crying immediately stops. An unusually shaped shrine. The walls are in the shades. The colors raised higher than the walls. Okay, no
swore to tell us that. It feels like something's under the lantern. Be ground the grass with my foot. Oh, look there! Something's moving on the ground. Ste stealing myself, I look down. It's a turtle with a baby's face on it. A turtle? Something strange was on its back. What's with this shell? What? Oh my god, what should I do? It really looks like a person's face. Amazing! A real human face turtle! I can't tell if she's scared or happy about this. But, you know, doesn't it remind you of a baby's face? An uncomfortable thought crosses my mind. This turtle lives in Yoroshima Lake where all sorts of things are abandoned. Could this face be a discarded fetus? Hmm. I, I wonder if this little guy is where the crying baby sound was heard earlier come from. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Maybe. Here we go. Oh, there, there. Uh, Hazuki? What are you doing? I'm giving it a hug. It's the best way to calm a crying baby. Hazuki beams out the turtle cradle in her, in her chest. I've had an aching role as a big sister who took care of a baby, so just leave it to me. Oh, an acting, not an aching. Even the director said I'd make a wonderful mother. Not exactly the issue here. Don't touch suspicious things. You'll get no help from me if you end up cursed. Uh, you have, you've got a point. She places the human turtle face back down on the ground. I kind of feel bad at leaving it here. It's so cute. In what way? It's a turtle. Turtles are cute. I blink and the turtle with the creepy shell disappears. Are you kidding me? Whoa, a supernatural phenomenon. Maybe the little guy really was the ghost of a baby. If so, could I have soothed it enough with my motherly warmth that it was able to rest in peace? Probably. What's wrong? You look more somber than usual. Hey, Cade. We heard a baby crying on our way here, right? Could that... Might have been another human-faced turtle. The poor thing must be looking for its mommy, too. We have to help it! She's gained some strange sense of duty now that her maternal instinct has fired up. Chill out, Hazuki. It's not important. We gotta find the key to the Tamate Sanctum first. I glance pointedly at the red door in front of me. The oddly wet door. There must be something inside that connects to the Urashima woman. Well, if anyone would have it, it'd be the security guard. Oh yeah, the missing guard. He was the one who told me about Ray R Rugu Island. The idle otaku guard was trying to impress Momo Kuruse. So maybe he went to Natamate Sanctum with the key. Let's look for the guard. He might still be in the park somewhere. Okay. Though if he is in the park, I doubt he's still alive. I need to be ready for anything. We're looking for dead people. I told you, Iris, once you went out. I hear a baby crying again. The baby's cry the baby's calling. Please help me find it, Cade. Fine. I shouldn't divert us too much if we keep looking for the guard at the same time. The crying immediately stops. Is it in the hear a baby crying. The crying immediately stops. Looking behind the bush. Oh look, you're back and I smell bacon. Someone's making bacon. You're stepping on my foot. We find a human-faced turtle. So it was you that was crying. 
But this one seems different than the one on Rugu Island. Huh? You can tell? What? You can't? This little guy is a teensy bit more handsome. They look exactly the same. She immediately scoops up the turtle. Here you are. I'm sorry you had to wait. Mommy's here now, so don't cry. Peekaboo! Hazuki is making silly faces at the turtle she's got cradled to her chest. What an ugly face. That's not a good look for an idol. Shut it. When she's deemed the turtle lulled, she places it on the ground. Bye, turtle. The human faced turtle then disappears. Rest in peace, little one. Hazuki lowers her head and prays toward the spot where the turtle vanished. Come on. We need to find the guard, not save turtles, damn it. Gritting my teeth, I work to stay calm. The situation is nothing like yesterday. The countdown to my death has started. Wasting time like this will just. Hmm. Since it has to do with the park, then. Maybe the little ones know something. You don't mean. The human faced turtles, do you? Mm hmm. That's right. If we find one again, I'll ask it about the guard for you. Bitchy crazy. Here, baby, cry. We find a human faced turtle. Ah, uh -huh, found you! She immediately scoops up the turtle. Good evening, little guy. You must have been so scared all by yourself. She hugs the turtle tightly. Hey, little guy. A man disappeared in this park. Can you tell mommy if you know anything? When she's deemed the turtle lulled, she placed it on the ground. The human faced turtle then disappears. We're counting on you, little one. There we go. Let us see if the turtle shell answered our prayers. Think I lost some brain cells? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. It hurt me to say too. What was that voice just now? That man's voice mixed with the sound of the wind that blew from the lake. A low groan like he's in pain. That wasn't me imagining things, right? Yeah. It came over from Yurishima Lake. Countless mouth service and begin crudely laughing. It's almost the final finale of the tale. Brought by the turtles you saved. Here you are at Ruku Island. I don't know who's talking. I assume Ki Kiku. Shit. W what's wrong? The curse, it's back again. The whispers said it's time before, but now they're saying it's almost the finale. Death is breathing down my neck now. I'm out of time. We gotta hurry to Hiroshima Lake. Right. Die either. No one will die. We will do this. We will get the good endings. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Well, I I think there's something floating over there. Let's go see. Something big flows on the surface of the water. That shape it couldn't be. I step closer to take a I step closer. Yeah, that's what you did on the boat. And uh. Ugh. <laughs> Hazuki's hands rest her mouth to cover her scream. Illuminated in the ring of light is a very clear is very clearly a human corpse. No way. My heart is thundering right out of my chest. Now I've been through some shit, rough shit, but I have never seen a corpse like this. His face. She points a trembling her at the corpse's head. What's wrong with his face? She has the point. It does look strange. His mouth is abnormally pointed for some reason. Almost like it's a turtle's mouth. Cade, this man. He's the missing guard. My fan. The guy from two days ago. I knew it. It's him. It makes sense that it took her a minute to realize. His face looks completely different from when he was alive. Wasn't his Yamagami or something? No wonder he didn't answer Maruhashi's calls. 
Why did he appear now? D do you think... The little one showed us? I don't know. Could be coincidence. So what now? I'll take a closer look. He probably... You, you probably shouldn't watch. Yeah, okay. I drag the corpse ashore with the oar and start searching through his things. In his chest pocket is a small key with a plastic tag. The tag reads Tomate Sanctum. And then we just threw him back in the water. How's it going? Find anything? Just what we need. He had the key to Tatame Sanctum. I knew it, so it was true. He tried to look at, at the Tatame Shrine from Momo Kuruse. So they were in one probably. No point in regretting it now. I know. Going in. We're going in. This place is smaller than I expected. The crammed insides hold a bunch of religious items I've never seen a handful of. I have even seen I even see a handful of household altars. But there's one thing that obviously doesn't belong. It's another stroller. I can't believe there's one here. I knew it, the Yoshi Moon came to the sanctum. There's gotta be some kind of important secret hidden here. Save. We always save. The mirror decorated the altar. I carefully searched the altar. Across the mirror is a rolled up piece of paper. When I spread out the paper inside is a syringe with some dark stains on it. Yeah. A stain on the syringe could be blood. I quickly grab the dirty syringe. I take a deep breath and touch the stain. What a stubborn mother. I've already told you, at this rate your child will be in danger. See, it's crying less than before. No! My baby! My baby! It seems to be some kind of delivery room. A woman who looks like a midwife is holding a baby. For such a desperate situation, she appears to be enjoying herself like she's having fun. We must take this child to the doctor. Really? The baby's going to be okay? Do it now! Save my baby! Hurry! Oh goodness, what's with that attitude? I dislike it when people order me around. What should I do? It might already be too late even if I get the doctor involved. If that's the case, then I may as well. No! Please, I'm begging you, save, save my baby! Dear me, what a noisy mother. Well then, we'll just have to quiet her down first. The sharp tip of the syringe held in the mouth of a hand glints in the light. Hold on, sweetie. I'll put your mother at ease soon. I can't say it any better than that.